In this video, I want to show you a little bit about finding free images that you can use. Now, in particular, I'm making this video for my students, but it might be of use to other people as well. Most of the time when I talk to students about finding images, their first instinct is to go to Google Image Search. But a lot of those images actually have copyright protections on them, and you have to be careful how you use them. So I want to introduce my students to a few places where they can find some images that are free for personal use and are able to be shared. The other nice thing about these sites is that it's very easy to then cite where you found the image. So I have three of them that I'm going to be showing today. One is Pixabay, the other one is Unsplash, and the last one is called Morgue File. Now I realize there's a lot more services out there. These are just three that seem to have some nice ones. And in particular, since my students are looking for things due to earth science, they have images on there that will work for that. So I'm going to start with Pixabay here. And when you first open up the website, you can put in a search term. Now I'm just going to use waterfall. I'm expecting you to be a little bit more creative and not just use my example and the first images that I found. On Pixabay, you do need to be careful because this very top line are the sponsored images. You'd have to pay for those ones. Instead, you want to go down here where you've got them for free and we're going to pick one of these. Now in your assignment, you're going to want to scroll through a little bit more because there's some very specific details that I want you to try and find pictures that satisfy. But in this case, if this were the one that you wanted to pick, once you've got this information up here, there's a few places that you need to pay attention to. So on Pixabay, there's a very big um, button here that says free download and you can actually pick the size of the image that you want. We don't need the hugest image for the things you're going to be doing in this class. As a matter of fact, you could probably go down to the smallest image on that. Once you've picked your image, you can go ahead and click download. And I'm not a robot. Download. And it gives you your image there. Now the other thing that I'm asking my students to do is to tell me the URL for this picture. Now sometimes you can grab these up here, but the other place you can get them is if you go to share, it will typically pop up a window and it already has this highlighted. And if you say control C, it copies that address. And just to show you, if you were to open up a new window and then control V paste, it gives you the specific image ID and that will take you directly to the page for that image. That's going to allow me to go back and see your images as well. Now that's on Pixabay. So let's jump over here to Unsplash. And I want to go ahead and I'm going to again grab Waterfall. Again, for your assignments, you're going to need a little bit more variety than just that. On this one, all of these images are within there, so I can just grab the first one here. And it's a little different here. You're going to want to go to Download Free, and that will pop open an image. Again, you can go up here to copy where the image is coming from. Or if you scroll down a little bit, there's a Share button. And that Share button Again, you can copy from there, or if you copy to the clipboard, again, you can then paste, and the image is going to be the one taking you directly to what you want to take a look at. So that's how we work on Unsplash. Morgue file works a similar way, where we can type in the topic that I'm looking for. And you've got to scroll down a little bit. Initially, you might think you didn't find something. But once you go down, then again, you've got your possible images you can move. And from those images you can choose, again, there's a prominent download button. And I'll go ahead and click on that again. And we'll see that it downloads the file. 
And it's a little bit more hidden here, but there's a button down here that will pop up and it's got some extra information. And this is your URL. And you can either copy that or hit the copy button. And again, just to make sure that that really works, you would paste that into your browser and see that it does bring you back to the same file. So this is the URL that you'll need to give me. And then you'll need to take your images and embed those in your assignments on Blackboard. And again, you're not just looking for waterfalls and you're going to be talking about some other things, but all three of these sites, the Pixabay, the Unsplash, and the morgue files have a good selection of nature photos that are all available to be used for non-commercial personal purposes like we're doing here with this class. In particular, some of these images, and you'll have to look at them a little more carefully, you can actually use in other contexts. You might just need to put the link back or give credit to the photographer in order to use them even for commercial projects, but always make sure you look at that. But in terms of a student report, you can definitely use all these images. And if you find one we really like, you can share it on social media. If you have any questions, contact me because I want to make sure that you're doing this correctly for your assignments.